Hi, this is Peter Dudek with HeadliceHouseCalls.com training video number five. In this video, how to use your gallon of enzyme concentrate. The primary usage for your gallon of enzyme concentrate is to make your field bottles of Nick Glue Dissolver. By now, you should have received a heavy duty sprayer bottle from me. You can use that bottle to mix your own version of Nick Glue Dissolver. There is no need to use pure enzyme concentrate to spray on people's heads. Now, it won't hurt people if you do that, but there's no real need to because a diluted uh, enzyme concentrate will do the job on the bugs and on the nits. The knit glue dissolver that we sell has been diluted with filtered water. You should dilute your enzyme concentrate before you take it into the field for your appointments. You can experiment and you should experiment to figure out how strong to make your personal version of knit glue dissolver. Sorry about the typo there. The strength needed varies from place to place. With experience you'll get a feel for the right formula that you need for your area. Some areas have head lice that are just stronger, make stronger glue than others. But to get you started, here is a tutorial on how to make it at a 1 to 3 ratio. Okay, so here's what I do. <clears throat> Getting ready, I set up near the sink and I put a cutting board over part of the sink so I have access to, uh, I, so I don't spill all over the place in case I do spill, and I have the water ready to go. So get your gallon of enzyme concentrate, your heavy duty sprayer, and a measuring cup. And get it all ready to go. Now find the numbers on the side of the bottle. Look on the sprayer bottle for the raised numbers on the side. Find the one, the three dash one ratio. Okay, you'll see it right there in between uh, the millimeters and the ounces. So find the line right underneath the three dash one. That is the line to where you will be filling the enzyme concentrate. Notice that it is 8 ounces. I use a measuring cup. Using a measuring cup makes it easier to get the 8 ounces I need and to pour it into the sprayer. Here's the enzyme concentrate ready to pour. Now don't worry about bubbles. The enzyme concentrate likes to make bubbles. In fact, they can be a problem sometimes if you uh, shake it up too much. Here the pouring is complete. Mission accomplished. And I didn't spill a drop. Honest. <laughs> Getting ready to add water. Now when you have the water going into the bottle, you want a slow stream of water. Too much water too fast will make lots of bubbles. and You don't want bubbles. Also notice that I'm holding the bottle at a 45 degree angle. That helps prevent bubbles too because I have the water just go barely into the hole opening at the top of the bottle and it hits the side the inside of the bottle and gently flows into the bottle so I have a real gentle flow of water into the enzyme in the bottle and that prevents bubbles so here I am adding the water if you have filtered water use it if not don't worry, just make sure that you use the enzyme that you make with unfiltered water within 30 days and keep it cool in between uses. But it is best if you use filtered water. Now, when you're filling with the water, stop at the top of the numbers. Don't fill it all the way up to the top of the neck. Do not overfill your bottle. Stop at the 26 ounce line at the top. When you start with a full 26 ounces after your appointment, you can calculate how much knit glue dissolver you used so that you can bill the client for that amount. So that makes it easy to figure out. When you're all done, if you have 20 ounces left, then you used 6 ounces. If you have 16 ounces left, you used 10 ounces. 
Notice how I'm keeping the math fairly simple so I don't make mistakes on the fly. <laughs> anyway, just use the uh, numbers on the side to calculate how much enzyme you used, how much niclutazolver you used um, when you're uh, calculating your bill. So, I'm all done. Here's another field bottle of niclutazolver ready to go to the next appointment. That's it. See you in the next video.